Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. The Tzemach Tzedek says that if a person realized the power of reciting Tehillim, Psalms, they recognize the greatness of this, they would recite Tehillim all day long. So this gives us a little bit of an idea of how powerful the book of Tehillim is. And we have the ability to recite it every day. In fact, there's daily Tehillim that we recite every day. It's Lubavitch custom to recite a certain amount of Tehillim every single day in order to, you know, to finish the whole book of Tehillim in one month. But a person could read any Tehillim throughout the day. And uh, there's no limit to how much Tehillim a person could read. And these, most of the book of Psalm, Psalms was written by David and Melech. So when a person recites this, they, they, they can be confident in the fact that they are speaking the words of David and Melech and a person should know the pleasure that this causes the Abishter, the Creator, when a person recites these, these words of praise towards the Creator that the Holy King David wrote. So because of this, because of you know recognizing the power of Tehillim, I've been trying to, to recognize the power of it lately, I came up with an idea, with Hashem's help of course, to make a little Tehillim project where person where it, hopefully you know in this comment section we could we could mark a person could recite Tehillim and every time they finish a different type of uh, different um, chapter of Tehillim they could write it down post a comment in the comment section below and we could kind of keep track and and really um, document and have a certain amount of, of, of people writing the Tehillim they recited in the comment section and this can gain momentum and it's an exciting idea because Tzemach Tzedek says, you know, no one recognizes the power of one Tehillim. So you can only imagine if we have multiple people saying multiple chapters of Tehillim and we have it writ written down in this chat. Only imagine the power that that will have on, on, on the world. And the amount of pleasure that that will cause the Creator. So, so it's, it's beautiful because also another beautiful thing about Tehillim is Sometimes people have difficulty in the beginning, not difficulty, but they don't appreciate the power of it because they're saying, look, I'm just reading words. I may not even understand the words. But that is the true power of it. You're doing something for Hashem where it's not even about our understanding at that point. It's a complete giving ourselves over to Hashem, to Hashem bittel, surrendering ourselves to Hashem. And that causes Hashem a lot of pleasure. And, you know, when a person it's, a person learns Hasidus, learns deep Torah concepts before reciting to him, then when he recites Tehillim afterwards, he can meditate upon these ideas, and it's a great meditation. And, and these words have a tremendous effect on, on, on one's soul, on one's body, on the world. It purifies the world around you. And I even, I, I took the time, Baruch Hashem, to look into, for Noahides, for righteous Gentiles, if righteous Gentiles, how does this work for righteous Gentiles? And there's a tremendous website written by, made by Rabbi Shochet, with the help of other tremendous rabbis, which deals completely with the ideas, the laws, for, for righteous Gentiles, for Noahides. And there are certain prayers that righteous Gentiles are allowed to, like, you know, are, are allowed to say as well. Because there's certain things that, certain prayers that are specifically for, for, for Jewish people to say. But there's also specific prayers for Gentiles, for righteous Gentiles, for Noahides. And it's important to know that these are not oblig obligatory, but they're all voluntary. Vo voluntary. These, these prayers that the righteous Gentiles can recite. And that's very beautiful as well. When something is not obligatory, but yet it's voluntary, there's a certain sweetness, a certain pleasure this causes Hashem when it's coming from you. Not because you have to do it, but because you want to do it. And there's even some Tehillim that are recommended for righteous Gentiles to recite as well. That Rabbi Shochet lists on his website. I will post the list in the, I will post the website, the page, in the description below. I really strongly recommend all righteous Gentiles, even Jews as well, so they could share with the righteous Gentiles that they encounter the list of, of Psalms, of Tehillim, that the righteous Gentiles are, are recommended to recite. Because this has a tremendous power, and it causes the Creator a tremendous amount of pleasure that, uh, you know, that the Gentiles, the righteous Gentiles, are interested in getting involved with the Creator. And it's truly a sign of the redemption that in Tehillim it's prophesied about. I made a video a few uh, last week how David Melch prophesies about how in the days of Mashiach, a sign that we're in the days of Mashiach will be that the Gentiles will be praising Hashem. The Gentiles will be interested in serving Hashem. And we've seen, just prove this in some of the comment section below, I've met so many tremendous righteous Gentiles that always, you know, they express their love for Hashem and it's truly an amazing sight. So I, I really want to get this project going. I'm going to be posting which Tehillim I recited in the comment section below. And I will, uh, I will strongly recommend you to do so as well. And we should know that Hashem promises us that every mitzvah 
leads to another mitzvah. Hashem tells us this. Everything that Hashem tells us is, is MS. So Hashem, one of the things Hashem says is every mitzvah you do will lead to another mitzvah. And so imagine, you read one Tehillim, it will lead to another mitzvah. And, and the beautiful, beautiful thing about this, you could have the people around you who you love, have them in mind, you know? Everyone wants to help those around us, and sometimes we feel like, you know, I want to help this person, I want to help that person, but I don't know how, I don't know what to do. This person, it's so difficult to help them in that situation, in so-and-so, you know, so-and-so in, in, in such situation. Reciting Tehillim on their behalf to the creator of the world, that is more powerful than any possible action you could try to do. So it's a beautiful thing. You should know that even you saying one chapter of Tehillim, we can't understand the effect that that could have on another Jew or another person around the world, the world as at large. So I think this project is something that we should work on. Please share with others. Please, please take the time to write in the comment section below which Tehillim you recited because I want to have it documented. It, 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 will, it will give uh, more momentum to this project if we could have people participating and sharing on their, their social media pages. And, um, and this is an exciting thing. So, uh, so, so God bless you all. And um, may, may we merit to, uh, to have the, you know, the, the restoration of the, of the, of the Beis Amikdash, the third Beis Amikdash, where we'll have the, the Mashiach himself, the King of Israel, bringing the people into the redemption and then Hashem's Shechina, Hashem will be revealed throughout the entire world. And then we'll, then, we'll, then we'll appreciate, we'll recognize the power that each word of Tehillim has. So, uh, so God bless you all. I've recited uh, Psalm 90 to 96 so far this morning as part of the daily Tehillim. And I'll write that in the comment section below. God bless you all. Wish you all the best.